Okay, so uh, for this evening, uh, first thing I worked on was this fuse here. Um, there was an issue where the, there was a short, so we kept blowing fuses and it kept frying inside because of an intermittent contact. So that has now been fixed, but we are out completely of the 10 amp, 250 volt short fuses that are in here. Um, I also uh, fixed this here. Uh, so this button was broken. Um, we had a bunch of uh, replacement buttons from Jeff, but they require a larger hole. So I drilled out the hole and uh, now this is fully mounted and set up. So um, power works as it did before. Yay, everything's good. All that stuff works as expected. Um, but tonight we worked on the laser switch and the water pump. So um, what I did was I connected up both the water protect and the, um, uh, and the laser uh, tube power supply. So now when you turn the power on, there we go. When you turn the power on, the power supply starts, water pump and air pump switches uh, all work as expected as well. So all of that is there, um, you know, obviously there's no laser tube in here. Uh, I took BB2's rear panel and installed it on BB1 uh, so that we'd have the exhaust fan here. Um, and I installed the uh, flow valve as well, the flow sensor. What I don't have, and this is just a simple loop for testing, what I don't have is I don't have a water chiller circulator for back here. So I need something that's gonna move some water through this flow sensor to be able to fully test the setup. But it's pretty simple. It's just two wires and they go back to, you know, the control panel. So I think we're pretty well set up. Um, the other thing I did in here was I tightened the belt and I fixed all of the wiring around the, um, around the bed lift. So this wiring was sort of reversed. So up was down, down was up, but then the limit switch was limiting you from going up. So now the limit switch is actually mounted, uh, so it's not moving. And in addition, uh, if you're going down and you hit the limit switch, it will stop it from going down any further. So all of that is actually working as you would expect. And um, if I, hit the down, it goes down. If I hit the up, it goes up. It's not skipping anymore. It may not be perfect, but it's not terrible. The one thing that we do need to work on is that some of these grommets are not tight, and so they're slipping um, and they come out. Uh, so they're mostly on the uh, on this side of the of, of BB1. Uh, those two, front and back, are loose. Uh, the ones on this side seem perfectly tight, so uh, need some help with tightening that up. Uh, but I think we're to the point now where um, we just need to uh, test the test a chiller on this and uh, hook up a, a laser tube. So uh, I think we got pretty far along tonight uh, with the setup, and um, you know all of this still needs to be tested out. Uh, with, you know, real hardware in here. But outside of that, I think we're doing pretty well. And then I got to clean up all this wiring. So most of this wiring is just uh, loose and long uh, so that I didn't have to uh, fight with it. Um, but uh, it, should, uh, it should get a lot cleaner uh, after we get all the, everything working as we want and then we can uh, clean up the wiring. So not bad for this evening.